Hello friends, today I'm going to tell you a fresh look of PowerPoint. That is PowerPoint 2010, which we call PowerPoint 2010. So let's have a look. Launch PowerPoint. So this is the home screen. What you will get. Uh, this time PowerPoint has multiple tabs here. You can see. Let's start with home tab. Home tab. Uh, it has multiple options here like if you want to change a layout you just simply click on layout and you have multiple options multiple slides how you want your uh, layout to be let's say picture with caption or you can select content with caption okay so here you have uh, this is the way how you can change your layout you can have one more slide and you can add a different layout to this and a different layout to the another slide at the same time you can have sections here what the section means add section so it shows like if you want your section to be introduction and this section to be content contents so this is the way how you can organize your slides if you have some slides which contains introductions and some contains a contents this way you can actually uh, organize your slides and uh, also the, there's one benefit like uh, for an example a printout if you want to have a print of a particular introduction slide only then you can uh, divide it in the sections and you can actually give a printout for uh, introduction only okay um, another is Let's say if you want to add an image here. Before adding an image, I would always recommend you if you want to give an uh, like, uh, let's put a data here. Let's say something, whatever. I, I just uh, put a pound. If you want a background to be of different color and you want an effect, let's say uh, now I'm going to add an image. Go to insert, go to picture and just select an image here and drag it here. So uh, now you want your you want some effects on your image. Let's say you have a quick styles here. It gives you a multiple options how you want your image to look like uh, the border of image uh, you want. So you can select it from here. So here you can see uh, on these bo this border line. Just uh, whenever you roll over on your these options, it will change over there. So this is the benefit like instead of selecting one by one and again going back, then again going back. So this is a cool feature by this PowerPoint slides. Like you can uh, ho uh, roll over on any of the option and you can see the preview on your background. So this is the way how you can change about border of your image. Okay, so if you want, let's say this is my background if you want some color on that or if you want some effect on your background of your image just click in here and quick styles now let's see this is the way how you can change the background color of your image or the surface area okay so uh, let's say i'll select this black color over here just lit in here okay so now you want some more effects on your this background or maybe here so first of all let's give an effect on your image shape effect it has multiple options here how you want your uh, you can actually enhance your image by selecting any of the uh, option here it's up to your it's your personal preference if I'll go let's say I want a reflection here so here you can see if I will give a reflection here here you can see it has a reflection so uh, you can increase your slide size and you can increase your page size and it will come directly on your page or uh, you can actually increase your image size let's say like this so here you can see it has a reflection which looks pretty cool okay and uh, now if you want um, some effect on your uh, like outer border on your outer part of your image then you have multiple options here you can bevel it let's say like this it will give you an effect or you want a 3d rotation you can do that as well see how it affects your background color or background image uh, you can select anything from here and as you roll over it it will show you in a preview and it will preview you in a background so this way you can select it so let me select this one okay here uh, you have some part which is out of your box so you can just uh, squeeze it minimize it as much as you want so this is the way how you can give an effect to an image or outer part of it 
Okay, so uh, now let's come to insert tab. Insert tab has multiple options which was already provided by other versions of PowerPoint, but it has a very cool feature in Smart Art. Smart Art has a lot many options. Uh, as you can see, it is uh, again um, like uh, which was already provided by older versions like let's say hierarchy, you want a hierarchy, you want a relationship, you want a matrix, but what's new here? So let's see in a new slide. Click on Smart Art click on hierarchy or maybe click on cycle okay so if you want um, let's say let's select this one you want this okay what's new in this you can change colors this is pretty new this is a cool feature here you can select this color and you can type in here let's say uh, home and here let's say content here let's say um, contact us or anything a b c d and one two three four okay now if you will preview it let's say so it will look pretty cool here you can see so this is the way how you can enhance your slides how you can uh, make it more attractive more innovative so uh, this is one of the feature and uh, again you have word art here you can select two multiple options here let's say if you want your um, now uh, again uh, after like uh, just roll over on these options you can see uh, the effects uh, and on your background like you can see the effects on these text so like this is this look cool on this slide so I'll select this or if you don't want this then you can again like select this and also if you want your uh, the color of this particular text to be different you just over here again it will just give an effect on your selected text so this is uh, one of the feature now let's say you have some text on top of your image or on top of your any other link or something and you want to go uh, send it backward it's pretty like uh, it's very easy and the links are pretty simple and pretty straightforward just say click here on your text and say send backward it will send automatically backward if you want it back on forward side it just bring back forward so it is forward now let's come to design tab here you have multiple designs and here you can also see you have multiple de designs themes and if you want you can select uh, from your custom themes or uh, or anything from uh, internet or something so here how you can do is just hover here roll back here you don't need to really uh, like select it just you need to roll over and it will change and it will give you an effect how it will look like on a slide and you can select any of these so this is the way how you can change your design let's come to our transition tab transition tab is pretty cool. basically it has multiple options here how you want to have your slides like uh, how you want your slides to look like you want a faded effect you want a white effect shape dissolve clock and like another options like it has and uh, like uh, you can put none effect as well there's there won't be anything so let's see uh, just select a slide here and let's say you want a uh, clock effect so it will look like this or you want a dissolve effect it will again give you a preview here like how your slide will look like let's say shape effect or let's say wipe effect fade cut or uh, split and again if you want a split here it will look like this so this is the way how it will show on your uh, like working area only how your like slide would look like you don't need to re actually preview it again and again this is again a cool feature 